I grew up living in the city almost my entire life. And I thought that living in the big city would make me happy. Moving from a big city to a small town in Canada is the best thing I did in my life. It was so scary at first, but now my life is different. It's just so beautiful here, so remote. I mean, you can see some people here camping, but not so much. I mean, I heard about Wasaga Beach in Ontario and they said they found a lot of poop here pretty sure no poop maybe somewhere Why? but not here <laughs> they're too loud is it the Filipino one? Yes. oh god how do you know it's the Filipino one? Ang tahimik kasi dito. It's so quiet here. This is so remote. And I think there's one. I'm not sure if the Filipino one. I saw one Filipino. If they're playing loud music. So guys, if you're gonna go to a place, remote place like this, for the love of God, please don't play loud music. Just be respectful to others. Do you like it medium rare? <laughs> so it's been two years now since living here in a rural remote area here on Vancouver Island and I remember we were in Toronto, we lived in uh, Victoria, and now since many people are now considering to move to places like this, I just want to share with you guys our tips, right, before moving to a place like, you know, a remote place like this. Number one tip that I can give you guys is to visit the place first. So before we moved here to Vancouver Island, Felix visited the island first, right? When was that? That was in... 2012. 2012. During his uh, working holiday visa. So he kind of have like the idea of what it looks like, what it's life here, right? That's a great idea to visit it first. I mean, even in... In our place, whenever it's like people interested to move there, yeah, it's so nice, you know, every day feels like you're in, on vacation. But some people, they don't realize that, you know, remote area or rural area, you don't have the luxury or accessibility to malls or to everything, right? So it's going to be a big adjustment for you. Would you rent? Yeah, I should have rented first. I if you want to buy a house down. Try to rent first and then see it yourself. I mean, it's hard to tell unless you're living in that place already. And another thing that is kind of like hard for us is like your friends won't visit you anymore because you moved far away from them, right? So you're gonna feel lonely sometimes. You don't have your usual friends, you don't have your family, your relatives, right? Also, everything feels so far. I mean, at first, like if we have to get grocery, we have to drive for like 40 minutes. And then if we need to go to a hospital, sometimes we have to drive for like hours again. At first, it feels so far, but then Later on, you will feel like, oh, it's just one hour drive or it's just two or three hours drive. You're gonna get used to it. Just sit on it. How do you do it though? <laughs> I got. Do you think we adjusted so much when we moved here? No, I don't think we have to do more, much adjustment. 
you had to? Or ha I, had I don't think to. we had to adjust much. No. I mean, for people from the city, probably yes. And if you like a city, you should not move here. You should stay in the city. True. But then, you know, like some people, they will move here because they can't afford to live in the city. Yeah, that means they don't want to be here. If you don't want to be here, you're not going to be happy. Then don't go. So what you mean to say is that just move here if you're willing to adapt. Wherever you want to move. Yeah. Let's say you're. Oh, I cannot afford to live in in Toronto anymore. I want to move somewhere cheaper. I mean, it should not be just about money. I mean, you have to to live the consequences so that you can get ahead of life right so if you're not willing to sacrifice those things like then it's gonna be hard for you and again just like Felix said move here or move to a place that you're willing to adapt just move to a place where you want to move to because you like it there so we're about to prepare now to sleep and we're gonna see you tomorrow. Goodbye! Say goodbye! Goodbye!